Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Coffee, Wine, and Laughter. It's your girl Shields and Michelle. Hey, hey, Shields. I was just trying to say with my hey. Hey. Day trying it. <laughs> How are you? How are you? How are you? I'm all right, man. I'm loving this weather. Like literally, it's yeah. time summer. Can I say that? No, yeah, not just it because you know this weather's mad. No, 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 no. Where are you living? You know where I live, and I'm but sure cause... it rains for you during the week. Yeah, so what are you, what are you enjoying about it? It's sunny. Oh, I've got a joke for Sun's you. out, buns out. Is that what they say? Oh, <laughs> please, that's sending your people. Yeah, and you know what people are talking about. Mommy Rose, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, yeah. I, I, I had this joke this week, yeah. I think it's a good one, yeah. When it was oh, raining, God. yeah. I hope you can make the correlation, Michelle, because I'm hoping you can, yeah? Well, let's when pray. it was raining, when, when it's raining in May, who do you feel like? May weather? I'll tell you. Yeah! <laughs> I'm feeling like Floyd in this May weather, because it's raining. <laughs> I'll be honest, because Obviously, I'm clever, I don't get it, but I get it. Yeah, yeah, you, you don't get it. I said that joke, yeah, in a meeting this week, yeah. I heard, I heard it on one of my friends said it, yeah, on the text message. I said, you're an idiot. So I dropped it in a meeting this week, and then um, two people in the meeting started to crack up. I said, yes, get in there. It's not a waste of talent. I'll be <laughs> honest, I, I, yeah, I, 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 I don't think it's funny, but I get it. Maybe we can put that to the listeners. No, no, but... <laughs> My joke is funny, yeah. Like, guys, I, I don't care if I see you between, if I see anybody between now and the end of May, yeah, yeah, I'm joke. gonna be jumping that joke. Oh, yeah. Did any of your and little ones do the May the Fourth? May the Fourth be with you on May the Fourth. No, oh, no, so oh my God, no, I didn't do that. I didn't it's even remember so annoying. that. Oh, Livy did it, it a few. May the Fourth be with you. I'm like, okay, it's okay, it's okay. I get it. I don't know, Livy. Livy runs out. Livy is as bad as me. She runs out of joke, boy. <laughs> runs it out about four or five times. I'm like, Livy, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a lover, got a lover, got a lover. So last week we had a serious one because we had toying on, and that was fun, and that was cool. Um, mm. Spoke about motherhood, and I hope everybody that listened, obviously, if you needed help through anything or talk through anything, you know, the phone lines were there, the information is still there. I know a few people had reached out to Toyin personally. And yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, it was an interesting podcast. It was educational to the point that we couldn't even really get into the current affairs that were happening. We just stuck to what we're sticking to. I don't think I've spoken about my trip to Uganda. No, you haven't. I'll save that. Because I put put things out there on social media, like especially on the coffee morning after page, like mm. I was travelling around, yeah, going around Uganda, that was fun. But testing all the coffees. Testing all the coffees, trying to bring some back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was all fun. But I think Michelle wants to do a podcast covering my Uganda trip, guys. Yeah, she wants to do story <laughs> time. <laughs> no, you ha- you have to do a story time. <laughs> so Why in a couple we, of weeks, we not even yeah. Yeah, in a couple of weeks I'll come back to that story time from Uganda. Yeah, because I think me and Michelle are all doing that. <laughs> you just talk. Yeah. No, that you're still back Uganda. This trip. <laughs> Uganda was interesting. Well, I'll tell you about it. Well, at least I can compare it to Nigeria and Uganda now. Well, I was gonna say which was the better land, but obviously we're not what you're gonna say. Yeah, Uganda was better land. Absolutely. Like people were not. Crazy. Mm, huh? no, yeah, I was gonna say, choose your speak. words. Choose your words. Yeah, like uh, I don't, I don't understand. I don't want to be waking up. But I'm like, careful, chicken. careful. Just, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm like, you know, like, the Hollywood films that you watch, and then dun, somebody's dun, in dun. the compound like a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm just so wasted, guys. Definitely gonna talk about the trips. Me and Michelle are doing a lot of trips this year, so we'll come back and tell you all about them. Right. Yeah. Between us, yeah, we're, we're travelling a little bit because, you know, COVID doesn't exist anymore. Yes. So, there you go. <laughs> there you go. So, what have we got today? Honestly, this is just a, off, this is just a random one today, I think. Random one, random one. So, mm-hmm. it's kind of um, following off the back of the passing of Kevin Samuels that was a few weeks ago now. But mm-hmm. we want to look at 
this whole idea of a sell by date like do yeah. people have sell by dates is there a shelf life on women on men on relationships like what is it if there is so what are your thoughts shells <laughs> i've got a lot of thoughts yeah because that sell by date if i'm going by what kevin Sammy was saying yeah i'm the milk that's gone off <laughs> Does it have mould in it or not? Uh, is it just like slightly yeah, off listen, or yeah. mouldy? Uh, listen, even if I try to, even if I try to brand myself, yeah, like the long life that this one has now, yeah. <laughs> even the long life has gone. Even the long life has gone. Nah, nah, shields, nah, nah, nah. You're doing, you're you not doing yourself long, justice. Nah, nah. Like, nah you know nah. them long life milks, yeah. <laughs> we get them in the office for free, yeah. Them long life milks normally just are ending like in eight months or even a year sometimes. Jesus. Yeah? <laughs> if, if I'm going with what Kevin Samuel was saying, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're not. You're not there. You're not there, Phil. No, nah. I'm not, you're I like slightly off. Myself by day. <laughs> <laughs> just slightly, slightly. Not, not too far. Just like if a I, week, maybe. If I speak, <laughs> if I speak, yeah, I call it to get with the here. Yeah. I tell you a funny story. We went out. We went out last week. Yeah. <laughs> one of our favorite listeners. One of our favorite. Um, what's it? One of our favorite listeners. One of our favorite um, people that comes on. We went out last week. We went for a little dance. On a, on, a, on a nice little Sunday evening, and then um, in the car, chit chatting as you do, we're waiting to get into the venue. Uh, well, our friend turns around and says, "If I had known I wasn't going to get a man again, oh, <laughs> I would have okay. had five kids straight away." Jesus. So clearly, she feels that comment would make a person feel like um, they're past their sell by date. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's kind of like, well, you can still have it. Because I'd said when I thought, well, if you wanted it, you can still go and have another child. Yeah. If you wanted it, yeah. If you met somebody that you was happy with and somebody that was happy with you, even if you you could go and have another child if you wanted to, you're not past having children. Does that make sense? Look at Naomi, isn't uh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Let's not talk about the money aspect of it. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, that's... That, that, that Kevin Samuel thing has, has was floating around for a long time. Mm. And when he first hit the scene, yeah, like the social media platform, especially YouTube, because I think he was really, really big on YouTube, it caused a lot of controversial. So it was actually a controversy rather. So it was actually quite it was sad obviously that he passed away, even though a lot of people have been were were saying things like, Oh, he deserved it, karma. He I was don't relatively think... young. You know, he's like 56, yeah. I believe. Yeah, yeah, 56, yeah. 57. I, I don't think that's the right thing to say when somebody passes no, away personally. I wish death on even anyone. If, yeah. Even if I didn't agree or disagree with his opinions. Mm. However, that's his world. Yeah. yeah. And that's what, that's, that's what he's placed upon himself. Because if we were to reflect on him, a person could say that they might have found him to be um, not a high value man. No. Because well, I think his, he his history. Had... I didn't know all of this until he had actually died. In terms yeah. of what two divorces, a two child divorces. that doesn't speak that doesn't speak to him. Yeah, and all all these things. So some people might not consider those things as wins. Yeah, whether or not you have money or not. But you know mm. that saying, like if you don't have love, if you don't have family, what do you actually have? Mm. Are you rich? I'm yeah. Not, yeah, I'm not saying that he doesn't have family because I know his mum obviously. I've heard that his mum's been on social media and all that stuff, but that's not really what we're covering in terms of... He, that's a lot of stuff going on there, and I don't think we want to be the people to contribute to a lot of things. A few people came out, like Vivica Fox, for example, and she was just like, this man wasn't a nice person. Yeah, the great she black went... Women. you got to respect the She was right. No. Yeah, yeah, I, don't, I, I didn't like... really like the way she went about it. I, I just feel like you might. See, I feel like you, you, you've got to be true to yourself and what you think. You, I, the, the, there's no reason I can't turn around and say I still don't agree with all his statements that he made. Yeah. But I'm not going to say that he deserved to die. No. And if what? you've got nothing nice to say, what's the old school saying? Don't, don't say, say nothing. Good job. Yeah, just don't say me. nothing. It's, it's okay. not by force. Yeah, yeah it's not exactly. By force. Yeah, like, you know, just don't... And some people are really pressed about it. Like, oh, it's good. Mm. You don't have to listen to the podcast or you don't have to listen to whatever you're selling. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes just switch off YouTube. It's because, okay. 
you know there is that button called unfollow. <laughs> <laughs> you said it was so much great. And I'm I, like, what button? What button? Have I missed yeah, the button? <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I think, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, on YouTube, yeah, you can even block certain things from being posted to you. Yeah. yeah so these yeah. people... These people must have to go on and just say, what is Kevin saying today? Yeah. Well, Kevin's not saying anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Chills. <laughs> no, <I don't. laughs> oh. Sorry, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. uh, you people still have Kevin Hart. <laughs> yeah, so oh enjoy God. that one. And if you're from the Caribbean, that Kevin who done that song, Let Me Hold You. Kevin Little. Kevin Little. <laughs> Yeah. And if you're and if you're still watching Home Alone, you have that Kevin there. But this Kevin has left the building. Bless him. Yeah. Uh-huh. So so basically it's, you know, are you on the shelf or are you not on the shelf? I think that, that conversation yeah takes a turn into different areas of life. I don't like it. I don't like the term. I don't um in terms of sell by dates, no. It's it's I think it's putting everybody in um, like one category so therefore if you're not mm. if you're not in 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 date then what you're out of date and then what what happens i told you, you already you know no. like you know when the food goes <laughs> out of date yeah at the end of the day you put it in the trash to like shelters they put it in the shelters you and know you so that the shelters... yeah and people still come and pick it up and eat it yeah but if you're off with mold i'm assuming they put it in the food bin it goes onto the compost <laughs> They just put you in the bin, man. Just trash. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> and if, I don't like and that. And yeah. some people even have those, you know, those, um, what's the, what are they called? Them sinks that have got the um, cutters in them. Yeah. yeah My the, sister's got one of those. Yeah. They, just, yeah, they don't even bother putting you in the bin. Yeah, they just thread you up in there, boy. And... Do you have a special bin for your food? Who? A bin for your food. A Who food is, bin. Do I live? Do I have, do I have space for two bins? <laughs> We have a food bin, like a little caddy, just a little, 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 a little bin that you put on the tabletop. No. <laughs> no. And then you have special no. food bags. I had That's special long, food man. bags. And then we no, put listen, the food, all the scrapings. Ha- My household is fully black. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> and nobody got time to be separating the fish and the chicken. No, you put all the food, <laughs> leftover food in one bin. And then you and Libby taught me this, my daughter. She said mm. the reason why it's important to do the food bin is because actually you can't put food in recycling because if you mix it together, it damages um, all the stuff that you can recycle. So and again, all the food waste goes onto the compost so, and it helps to so, fertilize things and grow. So how are you going to recycle a life. human being that is off the shelf by the I don't shelf. like the term. I don't like. I don't like that term. I'm not even on any date. I'm assuming so. Sell by dates as well. So we're we saying that's but for single people, yeah. yeah well, I. Do you know what? Yeah, it depends on how you look at it. In this context, actually, it's just if you're single and because his thing was, yeah. Let's quote the great man himself. Yeah, his thing was if you're 35 and above, yeah, and you've not been married or you haven't got no kids, nobody's looking at you. That's the thing. You're yeah, not high value anymore. <laughs> According to him, you're not high value anymore, and you're low value, yeah. Because you know you've passed it, and the younger, <clears throat> you're a deer basically, and the young Bambi's are coming along. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, you're just nah. Bambi's mum. Well, <laughs> yeah. no, well, who, who? It's nonsense. That's nonsense. Because who? All the Bambi, all, all the men. You know, if we're looking yeah. at it like as females our age, really mm-hmm. and truly, if I saw like a 40-year-old guy who technically yeah. would be in our age range to um, like have a relationship with, what yeah. is he going to be going for all these young Bambis, all these 21, 21-year-olds? Exactly. If, so, if no, but if so, then I'm looking at him a bit sideways as well. Because, so do you think the theory, well, his theory is flawed? Yeah, it's dumb. So in terms of, God forbid, um, um, people that get divorced or they lose partners, what happens then? Yeah, they're, not high, they're, they're not high value anymore. Hey, high yeah. value to who? High value to who? 
to a man like him, a man that was so, who him um, wanted to divorce and doesn't have a relationship with his children. Yeah. In my country, we would say, "Get out of here." That's what we would say. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> get so, out of here. <laughs> so it, it, you know, but I, I, I see it because I'm because I, that 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 whole title of it, you know, is there like a sell by date to maybe? I, I don't think there's a sell by date to anything, to be honest. Yeah. yeah apart from if you're apart from you're trying to be a rapper at sixty. No, nah, there is a sell by date on on well that also chicken day. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly missed that, Shills. I nearly missed that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I nearly missed it. But I came back. I came back. <laughs> nah, say it goes, because say it if we look at it, yeah. <laughs> no, I'll leave it there. Yeah, because let's let's talk about it. Let's let's be real for a moment. Why can't why can't and talk rap at sixty? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like you can't be a footballer at sixty. Let me know. Well, you can, but you can just play for rubbish leagues. So, not even you're just playing with your son's dad's club. Yeah, like all the dads that come to watch it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So obviously we know it. Let's use the football analogy. We know in football you get to a certain age and it's kind of like right, you can't kick ball anymore. Yeah, you've got to pass mm. it on. They normally become managers, coaches. Da, 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 da whatever they become trainers etc yeah mm. but they everyone knows in football or in sport you're unless you're playing golf possibly yeah well you're you got you're, 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 yeah and basically I, I don't think that's the case in when you put that to life no it's not and i think you just have because, to be um like, go on Look, I don't think life works like that because no. at the end of the day, there were different times, you know, not to be so spiritual, but there's a season and there's a time for everything. There's exactly. time for growth. Yeah, yeah. There's time to die, a time to live, a time to be happy, a time to dance, a time to cry, all that stuff, yeah. Um, it's, the, it's, the, it's a scripture in the Bible, yeah. And if you look at that as the makeup of life, then you appreciate the seasons that you're in. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And I think what people get get wrong here that you can actually enjoy the seasons that you're in without having ticked off all the so-called boxes that society has created yeah 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 definitely. and i'm and i'm not saying that because you know according to kevin samuel me and a couple of my other bridges and people that i know out there are <laughs> not high value according to long him, long life but long life coconut milk. yeah yeah Wait, 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 long life, something, something, yeah. But it's kind of like, it's what you make it. There are some things where I'm just like, look, listen, yeah, maybe this is not the year for you to do this, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or that part, you've, you've got to be able to let certain parts of, we spoke about what, this. What, ages like, and stages, maybe, ages and stages. Yeah, you've got to kind of like be able to reflect on it. But I don't think um, it's impossible for somebody to find love yeah or to find true companionship just because they're 40 and they haven't had it before do you know no, what i mean not. yeah so i thought that was quite myopic and quite narrow in his thinking so mm. that's where i think his theory was flawed to be saying i think because some people said that they didn't respect a lot of people actually said that they agreed with the message but people just didn't respect the messenger yeah that part of it came from those women that were calling in all the time, mm. yeah? And they were like, I deserve a man who makes six, seven figures, blah, blah, blah. And he was saying to them, what do you have to offer? Or yeah, yeah. They, and they, these are all Americans. So was he right? Was he, yeah, you know what? I'm, we love yeah. Americans. Yeah, like, like <laughs> shout out. Hey, 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 guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Hey, y'all. Yeah, so do you think he was right then in that aspect you know how i feel about spirit of entitlement yeah 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 the thing is yeah i've got an issue with anybody who feels entitled yeah and yeah. i see it with a lot of yeah i see it with a lot of females yeah they feel like i deserve this i should have this but why should you why do you deserve that yeah because the question would be I'm not even talking about what you bring to the table here, yeah? but what makes you think here yeah, that you deserve a man who is ten figures? Yeah, if you yourself are. Yeah. If you yourself are just here making McDonald's change. 
Mm. Yeah. But so so is that is is that for me, is that vibe of I'm entitled to this, I deserve why? Explain it. Why? It's society. Who, it's who society. are you to come in and say, I need to be with a bot? Come on. Let's be honest. Hey, yeah. you're sounding like Kevin Samuels here. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> We were going to set up take over his YouTube channel. Not ready yet. <laughs> CML to the world. <laughs> no, but I'm literally, I, I, but Michelle, you know me well, yeah. I've got an issue with entitlement here. Yeah? I think because yeah, I've yeah, been yeah, around definitely. a lot of people and it's kind of like, what we work hard, didn't it? Yeah, and when somebody yeah. comes and says, you should give me that, what? No, I think it's because, like, because you know that you've worked for what you've got. You weren't given what you have. You've worked for it. So for people to maybe assume that, you know, they're just entitled, or it's just that you just give, 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 give. But mm-hmm. actually you've worked, you know, you've grafted to where yeah. you are. Well, you are. And then, so that's why I understood what he was saying, yeah? And if you if you're coming, whether you're a man or a woman, if you even let's flip it to the men, yeah. So if you're flipping it to the men, and men are like, I want this woman to look after the home, look after this, do this, do this, do that, yeah. And bro, you're not even really paying the rent at the end of the month. You're not putting her in a position where she can do that. The, yeah. Yeah. That you're for me. You're what's the word? He says high value. You're a low. You're a low value person. Yeah. If we're going on to what that is mm. yeah because it's only a matter of time before i put you on the shelf oh okay because what's the point of me being in a struggle love yeah and if we've got that same thought process yeah as women especially when you're when you're over a certain age and you're not married or whatever it when we've spoken about this before as well yeah how how um accepting are you to building with somebody because I yeah. know for a fact, you know, Michelle, you've got loads of friends, yeah, that, I mean, you got some friends that are single, they bought their own places, mm-hmm. they're doing certain things. And a particular one, when they go and date silly men, they're like, what are you doing, yeah? You're, yeah. you're, you're, you're a catch. You've got standards, yeah. You've yeah. got standards, yeah. da, 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 da. And these are the things that we talk about being standards, yeah? Mm. This girl's sorting herself out, she does her own thing, et cetera, et cetera. And to you, that's a high value woman. And to herself, mm. that's a high value woman. Yeah. So that woman then gets with somebody who Michelle will call a Woolwich bum. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have used and those I, words. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, right? I'm just about to lie. I've like, yeah. never used those words. Okay, I yeah, have. You have used those words, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you have used those words since we were uni. Yeah. You know what who taught me those words? <laughs> Yeah. Me anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not even ready yet. Yeah, I've got some stories about Michelle that I need to bring up. Yeah. Okay, One day I'm gonna do it. Tell a tell a, tell a share, boy. <laughs> Michelle's Michelle's silliest Bear moments. All. <laughs> Bear all. <laughs> now, but so, so 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 that woman or that man or whatever, yeah. If you're looking at it on what I've established and what I haven't, but again, if you have an understanding of somebody. They don't have to be like off the date. It's, no. It depends on depends on what you like. Mm-mm. It depends on what you can come to agree with. Yeah. What you're willing to work with. What you're willing to work with. Exactly. But I will say there are some things that please stop. Non-negotiables. Like, yeah, this is done now. Yeah, you can um, produce music possibly. <laughs> you can teach people how to do the rhyme. Shills. I'm not. I was a bit offended. I know you just said about sixty-year-olds on the socials this week. They had um, a, a question: What are your? It wasn't even red flags, but what 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 are the weirdest reasons that people have decided to either break up with you or they won't go out on a date with you? And do you know mm. what someone says? Yeah. Because they're podcasters. Yeah, I, I saw that. Yeah, I said, "Oh, please, go and do your own one." Yeah. I was gonna okay, I was gonna say shoes, yeah. you're not as outraged as I am. I'm no, I saw it, yeah. <laughs> but I wish I had actually it was girls who were responding in it, yeah. It was girls yeah. that was yeah, it was girls I've seen that one. I just thought 
Ah, uh, listen, yeah. When you start the getting a real job, then come back and talk to podcasters. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, because Shills would have to slap somebody do, somehow. Do you, do you think, yeah, we're getting paid to be podcasting <laughs> at the moment? Yeah. We're not. Yeah. It's do you just think something. We have careers. And do you have, yeah. Uh, it's just something that we do, we enjoy, and you know yes. what? If people are doing it and they, they're speaking common sense, let them yeah. podcast all the way through. Mind you, yeah. what's your own? Yeah, yeah. what's your own? Yeah, you find your own hobby. It's like me, if if she's not cooking jello at home, what else is she doing? Because <laughs> that's like a guy saying, because I know it was more geared to a lot of men, do you know what I mean? Because a lot yeah. of men get a lot of slack for being podcasters, but... Why? Is it that thing know. of like men being like chatty patties? Yeah, I don't even know why. I think because most men that we have in the UK that do podcasting, they're more like um, out there mm, as opposed mm. to what women cover. Like women, women cover kind of like more, um, I would, I don't want to say like deeper topics here, but obviously I listen to um, that Stephen um Bartlett okay, guy. Bartley. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The CEO um, podcast. Yeah. 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 I, I love him. Yeah. I think yeah. Well, even my mum like knows who he is. But when my mum says I'm gonna tell he's like, that's the dragon. I said his name is Stephen. <laughs> Something Bart. like that, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah let's just that. call him the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> but he's actually I like what he talks about. I like how he presents. Mm. I, I I'm interested in what he's saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it, he's just I just feel like he's just an overall nice person. The things that he talks about are helpful and maybe certain girls listen to these podcasts and they are just not what they want to hear. So then they make judgment. Yeah. yeah. And they listen to podcasts that the guys that they want to fancy them are listening to. Mm, So for the wrong intention. Yeah, for the wrong intention. But if you was listening to something that was educational or you wasn't following a bandwagon, you'd have no problem with it because it's like saying um because obviously podcasting is not writing a book here but it's being able to engage with people and have conversations with Mm. people but people just listening yeah does that make sense yeah but you're still capturing them so it's like when, when somebody writes a book of course it's harder to write a book than it is to do a podcast because with a book you've got to keep somebody's attention span for how long and it's just you one yeah yeah it's just you writing this great story and it's mm. got to be so interesting that i want to open up the next page no mm, thanks <laughs> yeah yeah but that's it so it's a, it's, a, it's a different art but it's an art that should be respected as well I think. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Especially when somebody takes their sweet time to. It's not because we podcast. That's why I'm saying it. But I'm like, if I don't like people's content, I just don't listen to it. Yeah, you don't then start slagging it off. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah, because have you got a pod? <laughs> yeah. Are you casted anywhere? <laughs> Did you just see her face? <laughs> That's all I want to know. Because I think, you know, um, it's, it's that thing, um, I think it was Denzel who said it, yeah. Oh, I love him, yeah. He said, it's easier for a person who's not doing anything to criticise you who is doing something. Oh, definitely. They've got yeah. too much time on their hands. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, all to the male podcasters out there, we salute you, even if yeah, you're talking bare crap, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. At least you're turning up and you're talking the crap. Yeah. <laughs> What's the crack? Yeah. No, but do your thing, yeah. As long as I, I think as long as you're not misleading people and mm. you're being you're able to guide people in the right way or, or share knowledge, yeah, or experiences. Because doing a podcast you're exposed. You've got to kind of like bear a lot of, of yourself. Mm-hmm. So yeah. yeah, let's respect that a bit. But so that was a red flag for somebody. Yeah, quite a lot each, of people. Each to their own. <laughs> this is this, these are the kind of people you'll find on the shelf. Yeah, I'm sure. I, I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> these, are, these are the shelfers, you know. Yeah, Lifers, yeah. Kind of context, <laughs> context, yeah, because people might not understand what being on the shelf is, yeah. When you go to Tesco, yeah, you go to Tesco in the morning, there's things that have dates on them that are ending in two days. Yeah, so they kept Get, they get kept there and then oh no better better, better one I can think i tell is you it's as oh, Asda. yeah because you know when Asda's yeah when something's about to go off they put oops 
on the little oh, sticker. Really? Oh, yeah, that was oops. On the little oh, sticker. Yeah. So you'll be doing the oops. Those well, no, I'm, I'm sensible. When I do the food shop, I literally, mm-hmm. I don't go to the front. If I see bread, I'm going right to the back. So yeah. you're basically that man that goes for the twenty-one-year-olds. Eh? You're ba- <laughs> yeah. That's the, yeah. You're, you're basically. Chill out. You're, you're, so you're funny. saying this, this, this red is ending today. I don't nah, want it. Nah, that's hilarious. Nah, that is hilarious. <laughs> you're saying <laughs> this bread is ending today. I don't want it. This bread is day nah, five. Mean, what? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like what? Yeah. I'm I want the fresh meat. Money, yeah? <laughs> but you were the money, yeah. Sometimes when you go to the shop, because I do this, yeah. I even do this with flowers, yeah. When you go to the shop and you're thinking, ah, oh, this is going to end tomorrow. I'll just come back when they've restocked, yeah. You don't even bother looking at it. You don't even think, I'll take this home and I'll just... No way. You see? Why would I just manage? No, 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 no. This is what it's saying, This is what it's saying, yeah. You make it reflect on my whole life. Why should he just manage, yeah? Because we're the same as well. I mean, guys, yeah, I'm just playing. I'm just being. I'm just being controversial here, yeah. And I'm just saying, everybody does it, yeah. But I think the sell-by date thing is depending on where you're at in life, yeah, and what 100%. your values are, yeah. I'm not going by, you know, the late Kevin Samuel's high-value bull crap that he was talking about, because clearly when he passed, he was apparently with a what he would consider a low value worker what like, a nurse a nurse yeah mm. so all that preaching he was doing about high value men should be dating women that are in whatever whatever yeah and and boy there you go he wasn't even practicing what he was preaching it was really interesting but she said she wasn't with him like that even though it was in like the middle of the night isn't it yeah this is very interesting that part yeah like of course she's gonna say that bless her yeah, oh. but she was with him like that, bruv. Yeah, people say it's the yeah, I, I reckon. Cause we, we, <laughs> one of my, I won't even say, I won't even say who it is. I won't give the reference so closely. I'll just keep it this way here. Yeah. One of my friends, yeah, <laughs> her, her partner used to say, yeah, nothing good happens after midnight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's nothing, there's, yeah. What are you girls doing outside after midnight? There's nothing nothing Christ like after midnight. <laughs> he used to say that. Yeah. And every time we're out till past midnight, we we'll always remember that. We're like, nothing good happens after midnight. Yeah. So in those early hours, yeah, that, that nurse was with him. Nothing good was happening. Wow. Yeah. But I, I, I wouldn't. I would always look at that statement of like the shelf life, and I do. I do use that. I do look at it and I do apply it to myself, yeah, but in different areas of my life, yeah, because I've got to be able to say this is done and it's maturity to be able to say this is done. Obviously, I don't believe it in terms of like relationships and mm. like I don't believe it in regards to like, oh, a person can't go and meet somebody and be happy because we've, we've seen loads of stories or spoken to loads of women who were like, I met my partner at 40. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Or like you know, I had a terrible first marriage, yeah, and it didn't work out. I had a child from that marriage, but I met somebody else who loved me even more, mm, yeah. And my I child, loved, yeah. I love my child. Do you know what I mean? Because if we're going, if we're going to what he was saying, it would have meant that you was low value when that Very met, low value. Very, do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, because you already had a child, and moreover, mm. you know, Dan is white, and now the child is black. <laughs> <laughs> That reminds me of that time we my were My mum, 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 my birthday dinner, my 25th birthday dinner, when you, when you came when you were pregnant, and then you said to her, you said to her that you're, you're with Dan, but it's Dan's white, and she was like, but the baby's black. No, I remember Victor, when, when we tried to explain to Victor, and Victor was like, uh, oh God, and I'm like, okay, no, let me, let me just break this no. down for you. No, I, I just remember, I, I remember that birthday dinner, yeah, so you can like, um, be a restaurant in Canary Wharf, and I just thought, oh gosh, and Michelle wouldn't stop talking, boy. Michelle was like, yeah, so um, it's okay, it's okay, she was. <laughs> I was like, what, Michelle? My mum was like bamboozled. Yeah, she was like, hmm, thank hmm. you. 
she didn't know what she was. She just, she, she just, but, but obviously, she, obviously, she's like, people can do certain things, yeah, yeah, and it will work out. But it's the mindset that you have, because uh, I'm not saying I'm not going to try and say a silly man, yeah. But somebody else will look at that situation and think, no, that's a low no value way. situation, yeah. Yeah, but, definitely. But we've had that conversation on the podcast about um, would you date someone with a child? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Victor. yeah we had that with I don't yeah. know, Victor. Victor yeah. and Bolo, yeah. And some yeah. people miss out on certain things because you're so stuck on that's not how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Mm. Or that person isn't in my class or my standard. And I hear it and we all have we all have like um standards and our preferences. Mm. Yeah. But it doesn't make anybody less. Yeah. It's gotta be so like, whoa, 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 this shields, yeah. This guy is really doing drugs. Yeah. This ain't you. Or this guy's really uh, getting drunk every day. I don't know. Yeah? I'm saying this though. If if you met a man yeah. and he had three kids, mm-hmm. three different baby mums. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. If your mm-hmm, that's changed. <laughs> your, mm-hmm, at the beginning, well, okay, uh, yes, I can deal with it. I'm listening. Three different baby mums. I'm, I, I want to get to the end of the scenario before I say. I just want to, yeah. Before I say, look baby. like I just the building. <laughs> yeah, but come on. What, what, can three can we have baby mums? three different baby mums? How old? I want make. I want to make this scenario look so real. Say he's all, like how forty-five. How old is the first child? Huh? The first child is say like sixteen. 16. I was hoping for twenty-five, but hey. <laughs> yeah. No, none of them. The, 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 okay, the youngest child is like 15. No, 17. So just getting ready to leave the house. Oh, that's fine. Because then you want to start a whole new... But three different baby mums. The thing is, yeah, we've got to talk about the ages. Has he got twins? Is no. He... <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be technical. <laughs> <laughs> Your honour, yeah. yeah. I'll be I honest must vacate with you. the building. I'll be honest with you, yeah. It will, it will take a lot. It will take a lot because now, now I'm gonna be, I'm gonna put my business hat on. Yeah. Do you know, because then I'll be calculating income. Yeah. I'll be calculating child support. Child support. <laughs> I'll be calculating how much do you now have to spend in this household because you've got three other kids you're taking care of. Well, they say child support. It technically quotation mark ends at eighteen. At eighteen. But still, man, I, and then. So I become a wicked witch that is stopping their dad from the money. Yeah. Yeah, that's taking all money. our money. Taking yeah. all our money. No. You're not my Cause mom. Because then, then it'll be, it'll be, oh, I can't do that because it's, depending <laughs> on what situation the guy is in, yeah, mm. I don't think I can do it. That's the, and I know myself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The first thing about being happy in this life, yeah, know who you are. <laughs> yeah. I know myself. I'm going to feel a type of way if yeah. I've now been, you know, working hard, yeah, for the Queen. And I can't even enjoy the Queen's Jubilee, yeah, because I've got to send money to your kids, yeah. Like, the Jubilee weekend is coming, yeah, and you're even telling me, Mm -hmm. Bank holiday is coming, we we can't even go to a a young little trip down the road because, ah, shields, yeah. You know, Johnson, yeah, needs new shoes, yeah. I'm like, whoa. Johnson. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, what? Johnson, yes, I haven't even met the third one yet. Yeah. And then you're coming to me with stories. I'll just be like, I'll feel, I'll feel like, because you know what? Because what is your baby mum doing with the money that she's making? It depends on anything, Shil. She can do whatever she likes. She didn't make that baby by herself. She can do whatever she likes with that money. And she this can is get when, a new weed. See, she see, can I, do what she likes. Listen, eating I, in all them fancy restaurants that you eat in. I, I couldn't do that because then in my head I'm thinking, yeah, is that what she's eating coming out of my pocket? Potentially. But no, bro, it's yeah. pay off, isn't it? Different accounts then. <laughs> We're going to have to do different accounts. We're going to have to do it's different accounts. Up. And this is why I think, yeah, honestly, yeah, men that have women, men that have children everywhere, yeah, I don't know how they do it. I don't oh. know how they do it. I think it's really expensive. Yeah. Well, some I think the ones that are doing it right, yes, technically, it depends on what kind of job, but they should be really poor. But obviously, yeah. the ones that ain't doing it right, the ones that are just not really looking after their kids, obviously, they're still living life. It's not mm-hmm. an issue for them. Like, it's just like, oh my God, like, what? Because you just think to yourself, like, nah, that's a bit mad. I'm not like... saying that. I know we're digressing a li- little. Remember mm-hmm. um, that Crept and Cones 
and then the girl was saying that he's really really rich but she still pays half of the nursery fees and everybody lost yeah, everybody that was, really upset yeah that, was, that was really dumb yeah because he was right in what he said yeah he set her up to be okay yeah mm-hmm. and she's in a position that she can do all of that and plus everything else it does for that baby do you know what yeah, i mean yeah. yeah for me all that stuff is cool if if the person is doing whatever they need to do of course chip in yeah mm. but my issue here is saying yeah now you're telling me that you haven't got 100 pounds to send for johnson so now <laughs> i should give you the 100 pounds yeah babes babes babes, 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 babes. yeah <laughs> no bro yeah go to johnson's mom's side of the family and say please grandma can you give your grandson yeah, this because this ain't Just happening. I, I, I feel so I would be offended, yeah. And this is why you've got to, you've got to know yourself, yeah, and what kind of woman you are. If it's a woman, if it's a relationship with the same person, I don't mind mm. it, yeah. Because by the time they get to having kids that are seventeen, yeah, the setup is the same. Yeah. Mm-mm. And it's kinda of like not saying that the setup can't be the same the other way around, but at least I'm just rest assured that that relationship ended as things yeah. do in life. And you're just raising kids. And at least mm. you would know that, you know, every month I send £1,500 to that household. Yeah. And that's what you've been doing. That's what you're going to continue doing. And it's not affecting this household. That's a lot of money still, but yeah. <laughs> I met somebody, yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a breed of men, yeah, in the world, yeah, that are not high value. Because I met somebody, yeah. I'm not gonna say what part of the world they're from, yeah. But oh, if it God. sounds like somebody you know, it must be the country that I'm talking about. Yeah, you just figure it out. I'm not even gonna say what their national attire is, yeah. But all I'm Why gonna say. Why are you talking is, about attire? English people don't. Have no, 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 no. I'm not gonna say nothing, yeah. I'm not gonna say attire. I'm not gonna say no woman, no cry. I'm not even gonna say. <laughs> You're not going to mention the string vest or the rice and peas oh, no, or no, the no, jerk no, no, drum. No, 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 no. Even the fact that I've got locks in my hair right now, I'm not going to mention any of that. Yeah. You're so silly. But yeah, I've met somebody, I was cancelling someone, yeah, it was a work thing, and I said to her, so how much does your, you know, what, you know, just give me a little countdown of your, um, you know, your baby father, as they will say, yeah? And what he does, like the children's father, she goes to me, I asked him for £20 a month. He said he couldn't give it. It's too much. I said, there's a breed of men in this world. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) But I'm not making no judgments here because each to their own. Yeah. But imagine having something like that. Yeah. And now you, a woman, are dating a man who can't... Even you, 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 I don't think you can sleep. Yeah. In yourself, knowing that this man has kids and he's not responsible for them i would never i would never i've dated yeah. people with kids and i could never yeah, yeah to me you're never. a low value you're a low value man to me yeah yeah and i can't see myself with you yeah just like some men will be like women that don't look after their kids they're low value mm-hmm. women i think this whole sh- like low value thing makes sense depending on what aspect you're looking at it from yeah, and depending on yeah. your own values, individual values. It's the standards that you're that you're classifying these people as low value. Yeah, because it's just like it's just, it's it's just really your values and your standards, like you said. Yeah, it's your ethics, it's your morals, it's your mm. it's your moral compass that you know guides you in that stuff. But in regards to sell by dates, no such thing. Unless Definitely you're not. pursuing, even if you're pursuing music, keep doing it, guys. Yeah, because you just don't listen know. to Sheila. She said, if no, you're no, over no. 60, stop that. No, 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 no. no Drake might be listening. Rewind it. Might... That's what she I said. For, forget Drake, even, yeah. P. Diddy is opening up a new music, he whatever. Yeah. He's doing a new music. He might be actually looking for new artists, 60 plus. Yeah. Here's Sheila with your monthly, your weekly charge. Go out, yeah. go get it, guys. You can still go, do it. Go, go and get it, yeah. But you just got to know when I've got to stop pursuing this in this kind of way and maybe I'll go for this kind of thing because mm. you know that saying those who can't teach yeah because yeah. some people wanted to be musicians but they didn't ever make it to the big screen just mm. become a music teacher yeah reframe yeah yeah, reframe. yeah that, that, that's the word yeah reframe you know reshape rethink about think mm. about other things that you can do yeah because 
as so, as long as you're still alive, yeah, there's still time to make changes and to make impact. That's it. Yeah. 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 I had a conversation with a friend of mine on the weekend, yeah, and he said a person has to make impact. That's all. Yeah. And mm. in, my impact doesn't have to be the same as Michael Jackson's. Yeah. But it, you could make impact in a remote village. Yeah. And you've done wonders to that for that village. You've changed, yeah. You've changed yeah. persons, yeah. So so there's no such thing as, you know, a, a sell by date or whatever. No, definitely not. You know, and let's obviously, let's be realistic, yeah. It's the football thing. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, we can't even mention this because you know that Daniel still plays football and he's like entering his 40s very soon. And he's not trying to, he's not trying to go out for Man, Man United, is he? Nah, the, he plays bets, isn't it? Even Pat, Pat is still playing football every year. For my birthday, I said, Pat, let's do something. Ah, I got football. I got football. But, I'm but not I you like, old ass men. But I like, but that's their thing, though, isn't it? They, they know they're oh. not going to play with, they know they're, they're not going to play with the young guys. What's his name? Saka and stuff, yeah? They no, know they're not, they're not going to become, <laughs> they're not going to become our free lions, yeah? They might become our free tigers or free pussycats. <laughs> our but... free rhinos. <laughs> Yeah, but they're not going to be the free lions. Like, come on, yeah. No. They can be part of the cat family somehow, but not that part. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just, but they they enjoy doing that, and I like the fact that they keep doing it. You you never know, yeah. They might end up coaching a Sunday league team. To be fair, I I say that as I think like um even yesterday evening, you know, I did my run, yeah, a few weeks ago, and um it's probably one of the first professional runs I've done or races I've done since I left school so we're looking at 20 plus years yeah. and um I remember I was telling like one of the school mums yeah. she's obviously a bit older than me because I'm one of the youngest mums but she was just about oh well and I told her I got my personal best mm. and she was like yeah yeah that's what I do and I was like oh that's really great like, I'm really proud of that she was like no but you're younger than me you know so really and I'm thinking this is woman trying to kill me like bro like i did 5k in 25 minutes what do you want from me like 15 minutes like what's she doing 5k in 10 minutes she said well no she said she'd done it in 25 so i said 25 was my personal best and that's oh. what i did recently uh, um, yeah, she but she's like yeah exactly but she's like oh yeah but you know i'm a lot older than you I'm thinking, well, how, you should have said it to her how, oh, anyway she's lucky she met with you i know exactly oh, i'm slow I said to her, so how old are you nah she, she's she's I would just say she she should be nearly fifty. I would have said, "Well done, girl. Well done." I yeah. just smiled and I said, "Okay." I would have said, "Well done. Let's try again in three months." <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now that I've done my personal, <laughs> I'm gonna smack. Now that my personal <laughs> best. Yeah. <laughs> I said, "Check for me when I'm just thirty-seven." I know, right? What I'm no, thinking but... was, when in these races. They only really, there's categories. So after 40, they start doing all the 40s, all the 50s. So I'm thinking when I get to 40, I'm going to start smashing her, bro. That's what I'm going to do. So I've got to wait a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> She's got years on it, mate. She will do the 50s race. Yeah, she will do. No, but I think they just do like over 40s. Like ah, uh, okay. Under the elites, the 30s, the 40s. Yeah, so over but 40s. If you train hard enough, yeah. Do you think you could start running for um, Nigeria or Great Britain? I probably could. If I look at it this way, this 10K I did, I didn't mm. train. And I've got my personal, I didn't train. So I run maybe once every 10 days and I do between 5 and 7K. Mm. Um, I didn't, what I, in my run, the only tactic I used was, look, that's someone fast, stay with her. And that's mm. what I kept on doing. I didn't get overtaken that much. Um, mm. I got like a certificate which like is chipped, so I saw all my stats. So um, yeah, I know if I trained, I just keep on thinking if I'd done this from younger, I think so I'd have been actually really good. So yeah. you're not gonna be, so you're not on the shelf. I'm no way am I on the shelf. When I start running for my local running club, you'll see anyway. I'm oh. thinking about it, but it's just yeah. I don't really like running like that. Listeners, yeah, <laughs> Michelle's trying to be, Michelle's keeping herself on the shelf, yeah. She's not going to be those people that, well, she's not going to be herself when she goes into the shop and she's looking for the one at the I back. I know, the one at the back. Yeah. You know, where I'm going to be from it all the yeah. time, mate. Yeah, but no, do you know what, yeah? I just think people need to be able to just understand where they're at in life. I say this all the time. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't matter what's happening around you, yeah? It's what your focus is on. Mm -hmm. And they say comparison is the thief killer of joy. Of joy. Thief. Yeah, yeah, thief of joy, yeah. Because it's like, stay in your lane, do what you need to be doing, 
and be happy of where you are while you're going towards mm. where you're going, where you need to be. I think if we all took the approach of like, oh, you know what, I've passed myself by date, it will be a sad world. God yeah. forbid. Yeah, then what do you my, do? What would you do, isn't it? Sit at home and watch these tenders, I guess. But... Can you shut up? <laughs> Shut up. I was just joking. I love extenders. Yeah. No, you don't. It, it is fun. And no, I really don't. But boom, boom, boom. Yeah. But it is one of those things where I'm I'm more of like, there's no such thing as that. It Especially with things, uh, do you know, the, things that are in your mind, yeah, that you can see as clear as day, that you can bring onto paper and start to manifest them, yeah? Dreams that you have. Yeah, mm. it, it isn't too late. Yeah, it's you might never too late. you might be capped on the audience you might reach. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, but exactly. It's not, it's not too late to make what you want happen. And there are certain industries, yeah, that will still take you in at whatever age. Yeah, mm-hmm. for example, fashion. Yeah, it's just anything with the arts. Yeah, will actually take you in at any age. Yeah, because it's art and it's yours and it's creative. Yeah, yeah and yeah. it's you. Yeah. However, yeah, yeah, be ready to be broke for a very long time. <laughs> yeah, while well, you're That's finding. the reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not selling ice cream dreams, guys. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, to be, cause they melt away. Yeah, ice mm. cream melts. And I'm not selling you like dreams, yeah, because the arts, are, it, 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 if you break it in the arts, yeah, the world's at your feet. Yeah, mm. but it's to break it. But you can be discovered. If you're a painter, you can be discovered at 60. Yeah. yeah. So don't stop painting. Maybe go out and get an Uber job to support your family. Yeah. Yeah. But when you've got a minute, paint. Because why should you say my career as a painter or my passion as a painter? No. I've dropped it. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. I mean, we say this all the time, even though we know that um, people podcasting is red flags for some people. But we we like what we do. Mm, we enjoy it yeah. we enjoy what we do and it's something that we do away from our work or our daily lives but mm. we enjoy it and the more and more we've done it the more it's become who we are and part of who we're and becoming added to our growth and yeah growth, all sorts yeah and and you know these little things these little passions that you have that dance within you yeah or that make you dance that make you spark you mm. meet people that are like-minded yeah and then soon you have a network of people that are like-minded then you have your tribe yeah yeah exactly yeah. that and then your tribe doesn't go off date because you all have the same mindset you want the same things or you appreciate the same things therefore it can work i think let's not be so um taken in by what is out there or what people's perception of this is what success looks like or this is where you should be at this time etc etc yeah and if you if you're still looking for love it will come yeah it will, it will come if you want to have that family it will come yeah it's just you might have to do certain things to prepare for it yeah mm. you might have to make certain adjustments that we were talking about last week we we're talking about you know freezing your eggs mm-hmm. yeah, you know, you've got to be it. intentional about it yeah yeah, yeah. work like, don't you know, think it's just going to come without work or without exactly. planning or without thought yeah. exactly yeah so before you get hung up from the shelf yeah as they say in the football room, hanging up his boots. Mm. Yeah. Hang your boots up when you know you've done the best you can do. Exactly. Yeah. Not oh, because all these gems. Wow. Yeah, not because somebody else has said it's time for you to hang up your boots. Yeah. Yeah. You might say, Cool, I'm not gonna wear these boots anymore, but I'm gonna let somebody else wear them and I'm gonna teach them how to play in my boots. Yeah, yeah. No, I hear so, that. I hear that's the way of really living good. as well. Yeah. So guys, I think Oh, sorry for the um, what's it, suburban listeners. I was gonna say, burn up, burn up the shelf. <laughs> what the hell was you gonna say? <laughs> I was gonna say, burn up, burn up the shelf, man, burn that shelf up. But she's joking, guys. Okay. She's high. It's okay. I even did, I did, I even did gun fingers. Can you ah, imagine? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> you imagine? Sorry, that was for the urban listeners, but now for the suburban <laughs> listeners. Um, you know, take time. Yeah, yeah, take time, and, relax. And relax, yeah, that, that, all that stress. Do you know what? And it's funny for any of our young listeners, yeah, like, I know you must be hearing it all the time, yeah, 
but you're mm. still so young. Yeah. The world is your oyster. And you can do, you can honestly do whatever it is that you want mm-hmm. to do. Yeah. Have a go. Trust me. Yeah. Mm. I wish we did more. And I'm, I know. I'm saying yeah. this, and we're we're still relatively young, and we're still trying to do. Yeah. But I find that we're catching up with things that we could have done. Yeah. 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 But yeah, but just do what you need to do. Yeah. In that, don't think, oh, I'm now 23. I can't make it as a singer. Get a job and still pursue your career. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with moonlighting. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> the right moonlight. Guys, is, yeah. is, is the moonlight illegal, Charles? <laughs> you know what I mean, though, isn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean. But you know what I mean. I knew that it might as well go there, innit? Yeah. But, yeah. You see the kind of person I walk with. Yeah. I'm Every not day. even. <laughs> Michelle here. Yeah. They're not. They're not allowed to. They're, they're not supposed to catch my bad jokes. Like my, my. They're not supposed to catch them jokes like inappropriate. That. Yeah, yeah they're the just inappropriate meant to ones. hear them and then go. Yeah. And let it go. Whoever, whoever catches head. it, catches it. <laughs> <laughs> that, those jokes are for the swift. Yeah. Uh, not the tailors. Yeah. Yeah, those jokes are for the swift. Yeah, in thinking and in thought. Not for those who are like explaining that to me. So yeah, but that's my little bit on it. So I hope you can pick sense from the no sense. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And understand that although Kevin Samuel made impact in different ways, yeah, I don't think his theory was correct in terms of the sell by dates. It's definitely not. Yeah, and try and take what we have said and apply it to every area of your life, and see how you can actually move on from that. Move on from having a pass out date and just become incarnation milk or powdered milk. <laughs> yeah. Carnation because, milk, yes. Yeah, you know that carnation milk, you also go yes. pass out a date, yeah, but powdered milk, I think lasts longer, yeah. So you, you don't oh, want really? to be, we've told you already, you're not white rice, you're jello. Today I'm telling you. Don't let anybody not, tell you any of us. Today, any other. I'm telling you, bruv, yeah, you're not that milk in Asda that they sell. Yeah, and you're, you're not you're not long life. Yeah, and you're not carnation. You could be powdered like you could be powder milk though. Yeah, before it comes to west, you could be powder milk. But don't leave it too long because that also grows after a couple of years. Oh yuck, yuck. <laughs> but powder milk is good though. Like can't even lie, it, man. I had a lot of that in Uganda still. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, that's me. Like, oh no, it's alright, you know. Like uh, they have it a lot in like hot countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of the fridge situation. Yeah, they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have it a lot in yeah, in hot countries. It's like okay, cool. So yeah, because we were moving around a lot, so we had it, and it was quite cool. But guys, that's this Saturday, and whatever you're doing, hmm, enjoy it. Because yeah, well, I know I'm going to be enjoying myself. <laughs> I know it's party time for you. You're off now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're if you're on my snap, you know where I'm snapping from. Yeah. But if you're not, I'm in this London. <laughs> right, until, yeah, I'm around. Yeah, yeah until further notice, yeah. But guys, share what you're saying for the people. Yeah, man, just everything Shil says. Just enjoy your life. The, com- the, the comparison is the thief of joy. Yeah, don't let anybody treat you like no, no, no banana. You're plantain. Simply the best. <laughs> As Tina says, that's it. <laughs> that's what Michelle was saying to you. Is not, I'm that's giving it. you up the milk, yeah, off the shelf, yeah. Stay on the shelf, yeah. Be the one that the, be the one. Damn, that's not a good thing as well. Staying on the shelf for too long, no, because yeah, yeah, soon enough they chuck you out anyway. So try and try and try and pattern yourself up to be able to be purchased. <laughs> Catalyzing, yeah, right, guys. I'm out of here. Take care, guys. Bye.